मिनी शरीर मेरे निर्माण अपे हेम अवय हदलाती मैग्नीसियमुदा उर्वास्तु Welcome to the Wonderland YouTube channel. Today's short video is about longest mountain chain in the world. The Mid Ocean Ridge mountain chain is 65,000 kilometers, 40,400 miles long, but almost all of it lies deep in the ocean. Much of the Mid Ocean Ridge remains unmapped, and existing charts may not be accurate because it is hard to map the seafloor. The top of the ridge is on average 2500 meters, 8200 feet below sea level. Most volcanic eruptions around the ridge are so deep, they go unnoticed. The Mid-Ocean Ridge system is more than 9 times longer than the Andes. The Andes is the longest mountain range on land, stretching 4350 miles. 7000 kilometers through 7 countries in South America Hello, welcome to the Wonderland. It's time to explore the world with us within few minutes. Saturn has 7 main rings and hundreds of smaller ringlets. They are made up of particles and dirty ice. The pieces range from around 0.4 in, 1 cm to 16 feet, 5 meters. Each piece of ring material follows its own orbit around Saturn. Individual rings are identified by letters in order of discovery. The rings are less than 328 feet, 100 meters deep, paper thin compared to the planet itself. One idea is that the material in Saturn's rings was left over from when the giant planets formed. The material tried to join together to make a moon, but Saturn's gravity pulled it in. 
Another idea is that this material was from a moon that was drawn too close to the planet and broke up. In 1610 Saturn's rings are first seen by Galileo Galilei, who looks at them with the newly invented telescope. He thinks Saturn has two ear-like handles, one on each side. In 1655 Christian Huygens realizes that what Galileo has seen is a ring of material. 1977 Astronomers discover Uranus has rings when they notice a star appear to blink on and off when near the planet. 1979 The rings of Jupiter are revealed when the Voyager 1 spacecraft flies by the planet. 1985 Parts of Neptune's rings are detected from Earth. Its complete system is revealed by the Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wonderland. It's time to explore the world with us within few minutes. The Pacific Ocean is Earth's largest ocean, covering about one-third of our planet's surface. Its area is about 161,760,000 square kilometers. The fascinating thing is all the continents on Earth could fit inside the Pacific Basin. The total area taken up by land on Earth is about 148 million square kilometers. Water covers about two-thirds of Earth's surface, and half of this is in the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Basin is slowly shrinking due to tectonic movement and some of the plates that make up the ocean floor are sliding under the continental plates that make up the land. The Ring of Fire is a zone around the edge of the Pacific that contains more than three quarters of the world's volcanoes. Nine out of ten earthquakes also take place here. The sad truth is Great Pacific Garbage Patch is an area up to 15 million square kilometers. That contains trash, mostly plastic, that has been dumped in the ocean and swept together by the currents. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wonderland. It's time to explore the world with us within few minutes. The tiniest bird of all is the bee hummingbird, found only on the Caribbean island of Cuba. Males, which are smaller than females, measure on average just 5.5 centimeters long and weigh 1.9 grams. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wonderland. No machine can match the heart's outstanding abilities. It works every second, day and night, for 70, 80, or even 100 years. It constantly maintains and mends itself. It responds to the body's needs by continually adjusting the amount of blood it pumps with each beat and its beating speed. This means that while the heart conserves energy during sleep, it can increase its blood output by five times during strenuous exercise. The heart beats 100,000 times per day. Each day the heart creates energy that could power a truck for 32 kilometers. The heart has its own blood supply to feed it with oxygen through the coronary arteries. They branch from the start of the aorta, the main blood vessel, loop over the heart's surface, and go down into the thick muscles of the heart walls. The heart's walls are made of a special muscle called cardiac muscle, or myocardium. It contains many subunits called mitochondria, which provide a plentiful supply of energy, so the heart never tires. Mitochondria contain special DNA that regulates oxygen and energy in most body cells. The heart consists of two pumps. The left pump sends blood around the body. Blood returns to the right side, which pumps it to the lungs. Each pump has an atrium, the upper chamber, and a ventricle, the muscular lower chamber. Arteries carry blood away from the ventricles, and veins bring it back to the atria. The heart contracts its muscular walls to squeeze the blood inside, forcing it out into the main arteries. There are four heart valves, two in each side. 
These tough, flexible flaps push open easily to let blood flow the correct way, then flip shut to stop any backflow. Blood flows in as the heart's muscular walls relax, blood oozes at low pressure from the main veins into the upper chambers, atria. Blood from the body, containing little oxygen, enters the right atrium. Blood carrying oxygen from the lungs enters the left atrium, through the pulmonary veins. Upper to lower the walls of each upper chamber, atrium, tighten or contract to push blood through a valve into the lower chambers, ventricles. The ventricle walls are still relaxed, so they stretch and bulge as the blood comes in. The wall in the middle of the heart, the septum, keeps the two sets of blood separate. Blood flows out the muscular walls of the ventricles squeeze to force blood through valves into the arteries. The aorta, main artery, takes blood rich in oxygen from the left ventricle to the body, while the pulmonary arteries from the right ventricle carry blood with low oxygen levels to the lungs. When sleeping heart rate is 50-60 beats per minute. When running heart rate is 170-200 beats per minute. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wonderland. It's time to explore the world with us within few minutes. The book is a medium for recording information in the form of writing or images, typically composed of many pages bound together and protected by a cover. Let's find some record-breaking facts about books. Do you know more books are published in China per year? Also around 2.21 million books are published throughout the world each year. Two English authors, playwright William Shakespeare, 1564-1616, and crime writer Agatha Christie, 1890-1976, write, are both thought to have sold an estimated minimum of 2 billion books. They were both prolific writers, Shakespeare wrote 37 plays, while Christie penned 78. Best-selling series? The Harry Potter book series. J.K. Rowling's series of books about a young wizard has sold 510 million copies. Best-selling cookbook. Betty Crocker's cookbook. First published in 1950, more than 75 million copies of this American cookbook have been sold. Best-selling non-fiction book. The Bible. Figures are impossible to verify, but it is thought that around 5 billion copies of the Bible have been sold. Most translated author. Agatha Christie. According to UNESCO, there have been an astonishing 7,236 translations of Agatha Christie's books, more than any author in history. Most expensive book ever sold. Book of Mormon. The Mormon Church in the U.S. bought the printer's manuscript of this book for $35 million, 25.3 million pounds, in September 2017. Best-selling comics. Mickey Mose, The Beano and Classics Illustrated. Each of these comics are thought to have sold 1 billion copies. Best-selling fiction book. Don Quixote. First published in 1605 in Spain, Miguel de Cervantes's story of the nobleman Don Quixote and his companion, Sancho Panza, has non-fiction books sold an estimated 500 million copies. Best-selling regularly updated book. Xinhua Dictionary. First published in 1957, this Chinese dictionary has sold around 400 million copies. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wonderland. It's time to explore the world with us within few minutes. Do you know who is the first woman to fly solo from Britain to Australia? Amy Johnson. 
was a pioneering English pilot who was the first woman to fly solo from London to Australia. She was born in 1903 in Kingston-upon-Hull, East Riding of Yorkshire. In May 1930, Englishwoman Amy Johnson took off in her Gypsy Moth plane from an airstrip in Croydon, England. She flew 17,700 kilometers to land in Darwin, Australia, 19 days later. The first person to fly solo from Britain to Australia was Australian Bert Hinkler in 1928. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wonderland. It's time to explore the world with us within few minutes. Hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table because it has the simplest atoms of all elements. Hydrogen contains just one proton and one electron. Pure hydrogen is a transparent gas. The biggest planets, such as Jupiter, are vast balls of hydrogen mixed with other gases, such as helium and methane. On Earth, hydrogen is commonly found in water. Each water molecule has two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen. Although it is rare in Earth's atmosphere, hydrogen is the most common element in the universe. Stars, such as the Sun, contain large amounts of hydrogen. At the center of a star, atoms of this element are fused together, releasing heat and light. The Sun is four-fifths hydrogen. Three-quarters of this planet is made up of layers of gaseous and liquid hydrogen. New stars form inside nebulae, such as the Orion Nebula. They are clouds of hydrogen gas that slowly collapse in on themselves. Hydrogen gas is the lightest element of all and much lighter than air. This is why hydrogen-filled balloons can fly higher than air-filled ones. Super-cold liquid hydrogen is used as rocket fuel. Rocket uses 45,460 liters of liquid hydrogen as fuel. Atoms of hydrogen fuse together to produce a lot of energy in hydrogen bomb explosions. Pure hydrogen is also a clean energy source used to power some buses and cars. This energy-efficient vehicles runs on a fuel cell fed by hydrogen. Margarine is made of vegetable oils thickened by adding hydrogen. Hydrogen peroxide this liquid is used as a cleaner, so these are some important facts about hydrogen. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wonderland. It's time to explore the world with us within few minutes. Thank you for watching our video. The Boeing 747 is a large, long-range wide-body airliner designed and manufactured by Boeing Commercial Airplanes in the United States. The first commercial service of Boeing 747 flew between New York and London January 22, 1970. And the first transatlantic flight took 16 hours. The same journey today takes 5 hours.